Hi everyone. In this presentation, I will talk to you about the mentoring sessions. You will receive three mentoring sessions spanning from the start of the peer-to-peer -peer practice till the end of the practical lab. It is designed to provide you with a one-to-one -one customized learning sessions to bridge your learning gap and identify the growth opportunity around the demonstration of the PCC marker. And at the same time, we we'll like to use the mentoring sessions to review the final recording and offer you feedback for improvement. Now, allow me to allow me to walk you through how uh, the roadmap and the timeline for these mentoring sessions. The first mentoring sessions, we recommend you to complete it before the start of the practical lab, if not, not latest by the second week of the practical lab. This will allow you to have a benchmark of your current understanding of the marker and identify the learning gap. With this, you can move on to continue your practical lab to deepen your understanding using the case studies on how you need to demonstrate those markers. Now I'm going to talk about the second and the third mentoring. The second and the third mentoring session is designed also to review your first and second final recording and offer you feedback. For the second mentoring sessions, we recommend you to, to complete it after you have attended minimum eight practical lab or on the sixth week of the practical lab. By this time, you should have a good, adequate understanding of the marker and you are ready to submit your first recording. So prepare the first recording and use that recording for your second mentoring sessions. The third mentoring sessions. Well, we recommend you to do that after you have attended minimum 12 practical lab or by the end of the practical lab. This is where you prepare the second recording, integrating all your understanding that you have gained from the first and the second mentoring sessions and prepare the final recording. You will use this recording for your third mentoring sessions. So in this mentoring session, your mentor coach will offer you feedback on how you have demonstrated the PCC marker. Now, if your mentor coach is in opinion that this recording demonstrates the PCC markers, this will be accepted as the second recording and that will end your mentoring sessions. Now I'm going to share with you how the mentoring session works. First, prepare the recording with the transcript. If you are using a third-party application to transcribe the recording, kindly please edit it. Second, the duration of the recording is between minimum 40 minutes, maximum 60 minutes. I will recommend you to go for 45 minutes. As for the clients, we will prefer that you work with someone who has not attended any coach training. It means find someone who is not familiar with the coaching process. If this is difficult for you, well, you can reach out to your friends at the call level. You might be wondering, why not my friends in the advanced training? Well, preferably by this time, they might be running out of the topic. And lastly, they are familiar with the process. After you have prepared the recording with the transcript, that's where you book the appointment and attend the learning sessions. After the session is completed, your mentor coach will provide you with an overview of where you are right now in terms of demonstrations and what are the feedbacks for improvement. Lastly, integrate all this learning in the next recording if you are preparing for the first recording or the second recording. That's all. Thank you for your time.